We have a title race. We may just have a flipping title race. Um, I, look, man, call me a pessimist. Call me a super realist. I still believe that Bayern Munich will win this Bundesliga title. Um, but we have to deal with where we are right now. So let's just forget about what I think will happen in the future. Where we are right now is this Bayern Munich team is still reeling off that very embarrassing, disappointing results against Liverpool. And they're a team badly in need of revamping. And I think the issue and the dilemma that Bayern Munich will have is, is Niko Kovac to blame? Or does he need at least another year for himself to pretty much revamp and really find um, himself, really? Um, so to, to actually get back players, because a lot of players that just need to, to go, a lot of players that do not fit in, in, into this team. And again, as much as Mats Hummels has sort of improved and he's been doing a lot better and playing a lot better for Bayern Munich, um, and happy people thought, okay, it was maybe it's one of those unfair that Hummels did not really get picked to be um, part of the um, defense. Uh, basically, it was him, Muller, and Botten who pretty much ostracized from Yushim Love's team. And people thought it was unfair that Hummels was in that group. It was a mistake. Like, Hummels has to shoulder some blame for Freiburg's opening goal. He has to, because again, that ball coming in, he lost his man. He, positionally, he was completely wayward. And dude was completely and utterly free. I mean, that's utterly free. And I think that may go down to Hummels. He's just lost a step. Like, you go back to 2014. Him and Burton were arguably the best defenders in the world. And 100% 2014, they were the best defensive pairing in the world. Bar none. 2014. 2014, my dear friends, is five years ago. Five years is a very long time. It's a very long, long time. And the Hummels of 2014 is on the Hummels right now of 2019. And you have to beg the question that does, does he need to be replaced? Do you need someone new there? You know, that, I mean, I mean, I mean, you, I mean you, just, you just have to, to be real. I think they, they, I think they've, I think they have actually bought a new defender. And then Hernandez is, is one of the left back or right backs, but I think they've got a new central defender to partner Sule. And you have the whole Lewandowski thing. I think with Lewandowski is this is that. Quality goal he scored. That is a quality, quality goal. 100%. Like, you cannot take anything, anything away. And when you look at that goal that he scored, you're like, my gosh, man. What if this dude maintained that high level? He's still a brick. Uh, he's still, I mean, unless he does something with it, he has to still remain in the brick academy. Um, so that goal doesn't re remove him from there. But, you know, when you look at that goal, that, that's a quality goal. But as much as that much was a quality goal, you look at that chance that he had where he dove and it was just inches away from putting the ball in the net. You have to, you have to score that. And maybe Lewandowski of five, six years ago is sharper, is quicker, gets at the right time and gets the, the tap and he perhaps gets two goals and the two goals needed to beat Frank Reibach. So for Bayern Munich, um, it's, a, it's a very disappointing result. It's a very disappointing result. And I think this shows that... this They'll, they'll win more, more games than, than, than they will lose or draw. But this team isn't there, and I think it just shows you that Dortmund, they have a chance. It just shows you that Dortmund have a chance, and over to, to, to Dortmund now. Um, Sancho might be the truth. Sancho might be the truth. I am one of his biggest fans, because the way that Sancho plays football, it reminds me of the good old days. It reminds me of the good old days. And it just reminds me of the, of the, of the days when, you know... There, there is a purity about him. There is a purity about him because I've always said that I respect all aspects of football, but growing up in Nigeria, being in, in Nigeria, dribbling was the was a hallmark of football for for me. Being able to beat a man, being able your skill on the ball as an as an individual, that was always the thing that you we hold up very high in in Nigeria. And seeing the way that Sancho plays. And how he is always looking to try and beat his man when he has the ball is just something that, that truly ex ex excites me. And this is the, as I would say to Sancho, remain at Dortmund. Don't go to Manchester United. United, that is a ship that we don't know whether it will it will sink or swim. 
For Dortmund, you are guaranteed to always compete for the Bundesliga every season, and you are guaranteed Champions League football every season. Those are two guarantees. You are guaranteed to be to compete for a trophy every season with a realistic chance of winning it, and you are guaranteed Champions League football every season. You're not gar- you're not sniffing a Premier League trophy as, as long as Pep is in the in 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 the Premier League, and you're not guaranteed Champions League football with how competitive the Premier League is. So that is not a wise move to make. For Sancho, you are if you're at Dortmund, you will consistently always be in Europe. So you'll always have the eyes on you and you will continue to be um, competing for a title. And the fact of the matter is that he works for this team. He works for this team. Paco Alcafé. Um, I think that with these two goals that he scored, the first one being a crucial free kick, which was the real crucial goal that gave Dominic Blade that we're going to get the, the three points. Stop playing games now. Stop playing games. Starting. Mr. F- Mr. Favre, start him. He now deserves to, to start. He should now be the first choice striker for Dortmund. So if he's fully fit, he starts. There is no time for experimentation. There is no time for trying different things. Okay, okay maybe he will he will walk. Okay, maybe I will play him for this game. Or maybe I'll just bring him up to the top for this game. No, no. No more experimentation. No more trying, trying th- things out. He is your starting striker. Because... Every striker needs to have the belief that they're the man because, see, strikers are the most egotistical players out there because they have to be. You have to be egotistical, you have to be arrogant, and you have to be greedy to be a striker. And it harms your ego if you score goals next time you see you're on the bench. It harms your ego because strikers live, breathe, and excrete and ingest goals. They dream about goals. That is all they are about. And that is what they feel that they are judged upon. So if you're scoring goals and you're not starting, it just does not com- com- compute. So for Fav, you have to start with this man and you've got to make Alcacer know that you are a striker. You are a top striker. You are a goal getter. You are a goal scorer. We're not experimenting anymore with you. If you're fully fit, you start. You start because Dortmund are... I mean, Because I thought that Bayern Munich would just keep on winning and it was Dortmund that will continue to draw points. Somehow you're two points ahead. Somehow you're two points ahead. And Bayern are a team where I still see these guys dropping points. Dortmund will drop points. Bayern will continue to drop points because that team is old. That team is one. That team has... They're not... This is a team that is about two or three years too old. They're about two or three years too old. But I just think this is the season in which... No, you know what? I, 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 I think it's um, fully um, over for them right now. Um, but again, you, just, you, just, you, you look at that second goal. And you could just the beauty of what Sancho did. How he because it was two things, is how he beat his man and how he cut that ball across. Because see, more so I always say this to people, decision making, decision making, decision making, decision making. That separates really good players from great players. You know. That is the real separating factor. That is the real defining factor. And we just saw how Sancho beat his man, got himself in the position, and that was the right ball. He didn't put... Because if, 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 he, if he put the ball across, you're playing with the numbers. Are you sure your man is going to get to it? Are you sure the keeper is going to get to it? In that situation, the right move he did, cut it back. On the floor, nice cut back. Great stubbing from the dude, Alcacer, Alcacer. Right place, right time. Put it into the pocket. So... I, this is great for the Bundesliga. This is superb for the Bundesliga because I cannot remember the last time where we were in uh, March. Uh, well, we were in March going into April, and there was only a two-point difference. And I, I there are going to be more, there, there are going to be more twists and turns, hundred percent. But I just think this is great for the Bundesliga because these are two teams that where you don't know whether they'll win or like it took the 90 minutes for Dortmund to, to get that G. I didn't. I, I, I was so sure Bayern would beat Freiburg. I was so sure that they, 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 they beat Freiburg, but again, they dropped off those points. Um, you see, I do fear for Kovac because I don't think Kovac is the issue. But my fear for Kovac is if Bayern somehow don't win the Bundesliga, he'll get sacked. And I, and I don't. I, don't, I think whatever happens, he doesn't deserve to get sacked because. This isn't. This is not a. This is. This not. This is not his team. You know. I think maybe Tiago Alcantara. I think he needs to be moved upon. Uh, Javi Mat- um, Martinez. I think he's gone. I think Lewandowski. Lewandowski needs. I don't. It's not. I think he needs to be re- replaced. You have to think about replacing Muller. 
is common really that good? Ginabri, boom, he's a guy that can grow. Is common that good? Hummels, maybe he needs to be replaced. Rafinha's Rafinha's trash. He's a he's a he's a class A brick. Okay. <laughs> The guy, the, the, the dude is a freaking class apric. So there are guys in the team that need to be replaced. So, but I just think for Kovac, I just think he, he has a raw deal. He needs to win the Bundesliga. I think if he does not win the Bundesliga this season with Bayern, I think he will get the chop. And as for Dortmund, I think what Dortmund is this. It's personal for me. Because... Marco Ruiz is one of my is one of my favorite players, and I just feel that what has happened to him injury wise has just been unlucky. The amount of times when he's been injured just before Germany went to a tournament, he was so close for for being with Germany for the um, twenty fourteen World Cup, got injured yet yeah, again. He has been unlucky so many times. If anybody deserves a trophy, a medal, it's it's Marco Ruiz, especially for his loyalty in staying with Dortmund. So I just think it would be great. It would be the perfect story for homeboy um, McCurry to win. I just think it would be beautiful. It would be a beautiful ending. But sometimes the things that we want in life, we, we don't always have. But at the end of the day, what we do have, I just think, is a great, great title race. Like this weekend result shocked me because I just really believe that Bayern, I think. I think psychologically, I always look, I always go for psychological. I think psychologically, Bayern Munich breaking down that six nine points gap, breaking it down. I thought they just would have the momentum and keep on going. I still believe they have the momentum. They're still my pick to win it, but this just makes things interesting. I mean, it's interesting right now. It's interesting because Dortmund could very easily drop points next weekend, then Bayern Munich could win, or the next weekend Bayern could then drop points. So this could just be topsy turvy, topsy turvy, which is just what makes this exciting. So whatever the case may be, this is an amazing one. So even if you don't watch the Bundesliga, you support a Premier League team, a La Liga team, a Serie A team, you, your eyes have to be on this because, guys, this is a really fascinating title race with two of the best, biggest teams in the Bundesliga, and I think this is what this is what we need for football. There is no points in that crap you have in, in bloody league on where a where, where guys are, are win the league by 20 25 points. That's stupid. Title races is amazing to watch. So even if you support the teams or you don't even support the teams, title races is what football is about. So no, this is called the half of football hot. I'm here to promote the purity of foot football. There is nothing purer than a tight title race that goes down to the wire. So if this imagine if this goes down to the last game. So on the last day, either team could win. That would be amazing. That would be amazing. So whatever the, the, the case may, may be, I'm ready for it. And Jidon Sancho might be the truth. Thanks for watching the video. Now think about becoming a football hot patron by pledging an amount each month and then gain access to exclusive content only on the football hot patron page. Peace. Head over to the official sites at halfoffootballhot.com or just click over here.